Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at a quick tip for grayed out icons in Power Query. So the Power Query ribbon is context aware, so that means if you select certain columns, so for example I've got a text column selected here, then various things might be grayed out. So you can't perform these number actions on a text column. And similarly, if I select a number column, then I can use those. But if I hold control and select multiple number columns, then those become grayed out as well. So how can you perform this action on multiple columns? So you could just perform an action for each column, but that would be tedious if you have a lot of columns. So what you can do is select a single column and then go up and perform your actions. So for this one, let's maybe multiply by 0.5. And let's press OK. And then we get our column with uh, the values multiplied by 0.5. And we can see that this has created a formula up in the formula bar here. And we here have a list that tells us what to do. So these curly braces indicate a list. And then inside that list, we have another list that specifies the column that we're going to perform the action on. And then the formula here, and then what type of column to return. And because this is a list inside of a list, you would expect that we could have multiple items in a list. And we can actually have that. So let's copy and paste this with a comma to separate our list items. And then what we can do is change this reference to number two, which is our second column here. And then for the formula here, we can choose to multiply, or we could also divide or add each item in that column or whatever we want. We don't have to stick to multiplication. So maybe for this column, let's add a number. And maybe let's add 100 to each item. And let's accept that change. And you can see now we have our column one here uh, is being divided or multiplied by 0.5. And then our second column here, we're adding 100 to each item. So this way we're able to transform multiple columns with our number actions in the transform tab. And we also avoid unnecessary applied steps in our applied steps window here. So we managed to keep this a bit less cluttered by combining the actions in one formula here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.